Hello, I'm Tony Lupton, the Cabinet Secretary in the Brumby Government and Member for Paran in the Victorian Parliament. This week in the Legislative Assembly, Premier John Brumby moved a motion on climate change. The motion acknowledged that human activity is causing global warming and called on national and international action to be taken to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In debating such a motion, the first two speakers are allotted 30 minutes each. Subsequent speakers have a lesser time. The Premier used his 30 minutes, whereas disappointingly, the Leader of the Opposition, Ted Ballew, only spoke for 13 minutes. During his contribution, Premier John Brumby unveiled a $23 million climate change program to help individuals and local communities take action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Among some important bills debated by the Legislative Assembly this week was one that toughens the law regarding serious sexual offenders. When such an offender has served their sentence, if they still pose an unacceptable risk to the community, they can be ordered to spend more time in prison. One unusual bill passed by the Legislative Council this week, previously passed by the Legislative Assembly, amends the Victorian Constitution Act. It will provide that all future Lieutenant Governors and Administrators of the State of Victoria are appointed by the Governor rather than the Queen. Because this bill amends the Victorian Constitution, it required a special majority of 60% of the members of each House of Parliament. Another important bill passed by the Council that had previously passed the Assembly sets up a national registration scheme for health professionals. In addition to being a workplace, Victoria's Parliament House and its gardens have important historical connections. One of these is the oak tree here behind me, planted in 1890 by Sir Henry Parks, the Premier of New South Wales. It was planted to commemorate the Australasian Federal Convention held here at Parliament House that year. The convention was an important step leading to the Australian Federation in 1901. I hope you can join me again in December for another week in Parliament.